city, people are getting ready, as many areas are right now. Sabrina Wilson has got that latest for you. Sabrina. Hey there, many have gone through lots of storms here in New Orleans, but amid the ongoing insurance crisis, everyone I talked to said they were taking steps to protect their property. Now, the Venetian Isle subdivision sits outside New Orleans levee system and the houses there are built to reflect that. Residents here told me they aren't overly worried about flooding. Still, they've protected some of their belongings that were on the ground. Now, inside the levee system, residents took advantage of free sand to make sandbags. We talked to some of them at St. Leo the Great Catholic Church. Are you concerned about Francine? No, not really, no. What makes you not be concerned? Well, we don't find it's going to be that bad, you know, hoping it's not going to be that bad anyway. Well, I just got to deal with it. I'm, I'm kind of concerned, but in a way, I just got to just go with it. Yeah. Well, Sabrina, it was important for us to have this outlet for people who wanted to do additional protection to their house, and sandbag certainly helps out. Now, New Orleans uh, Homeland Security Director Colin Arnold says they feel comfortable that the Sewage and Water Board is in a good place for Francine. There are 90 of the 99 pumps operational and enough power to handle what is expected to come from Francine. Of course, people are asked to stay home on Wednesday and Thursday. Shelter in place is the word from city government. Reporting live from Near the lake in eastern New Orleans, I'm Sabrina Wilson, Fox 8, Local First. All right, thanks, Sabrina.